absolute disaster. What happened there? Oh, I sort of fumbled there, but the pineapple looks okay. Oh dear, what a silly boy. Because that is so fragile, I'm actually going to blow it when it's up on its side.
Something not right with my sound. Now let me see if I can show you a close up of that pineapple. Now you can see I've lost some of the um, little segments there. This one's okay. And I've lost a lot of teeth. I'll keep going. Uh, this is a flask test as much as anything else. Yeah, my sound is very, it's like clumpy. Everything's sticking together. It's, it's, I think it's just too wet. Still, even after two days of being all laid out on the, uh, it's really sticky. Slightly tapered. There we go. So I line up the pin on this side and there's a slot on this side. Pin and slot. Oh, we're down. I oh, know we're not. There we go. Oh, brilliant, okay. Now I'm gonna put this enormously heavy thing over there and then uh, melt the bronze.
Disaster. Absolute disaster. What happened there? Too much water in the sand maybe? Oh dear. What on earth? Hmm. Look at this bubble. What on earth? What a crazy thing. Maybe it wasn't hot enough. It's right here. Well, I don't know. My sand. Something not right with it. Shrinking a hell of a lot, but I don't know what all this. Uh, there were there was an actual bubble there. I've never had a bubble before. Let's see if I can lift the whole flask. Oh, right. Oh my god. Well, there's the whole flask. I think the flask worked all right. Just the sand that was too wet or something. Oh, it's not too bad. So, here goes. I really wish my sand had been in a decent quality for this first casting, for the, for the flask, but anyway, let's see if I can at least open it. <laughs> oh my God. That's weird. I've got this one. <laughs> How weird is that? That is so strange. These really thin two millimeter gates just didn't do it. The bronze, the bronze rushed in, did its thing. And you can see here, it kind of barely, it barely made it a millimeter over the, uh, the gates there. So that's why it felt like it didn't work because it immediately filled this whole thing and it, the whole thing was done, frozen, I guess. Uh, unless I poured it in there and that's what filled that, I don't know. The flask worked. It did bind a little bit there when I uh, took it out. So I think I need to, just as a last measure, probably just file back the, the, the back of this hole just like I did at the end last time. I think I just need to do another half a millimetre. But um, the while I was making it, it all worked. There you go, you see? So it does bind if I kind of rock it. Okay. Well, good news, the sand is a lot drier. <laughs> That's bizarre, because that gate worked with uh, aluminium. Absolutely fine. Well, at least I've got something from this. Let's have a look at this uh, more closely. The pineapple looks pretty good. Uh, let's have a look at this play button. Yeah, brilliant. So this is for the Natalie and Tara channel. So I've been subscribed to Natalie and Tara for a long, long time. I don't really know how I found them, but they are a really good, fun channel. So a little bit like me, they try new things and have fun doing it. Well, it's sort of like me. I tend to do sort of 50 videos on one subject, whereas they will just do one or two. 
and uh, move on to the next thing. But uh, anyway, the reason I've done them a play button is not only are they really f fun to watch, but they were the first channel I saw a make a play button. For themselves, I think, was the first one. And that gave me the idea to make one for myself for 1,000 subscribers. And that then led on to me making play buttons for loads of other channels. I'll put a list of who I've made play buttons for on the screen now. But I've always thought I really ought to pay it back to them and make them a play button. And I think they're very close to 10,000 subscribers now. So I think now is just the right time to uh, make this for them and send it to them. Now the pineapple, oh, it's actually come out really well. This is really hot, really, really hot. I'm just gonna dunk it in the water here. I'm really pleased with that pineapple. I thought that was gonna come out uh, shocking. <laughs> and that is pretty good. When that's all polished up, I think that'll be nice. Nearly every single little segment came out nicely on that. I drew each one by hand in uh, Fusion 360 and then extruded it with draft. And considering my sand was pants today, that is really great. Really cool. Thank <laughs> you. 